y'all welcome to another episode of backyard off grid this is going to be a tiny review on the jackery let's check it out Y'all, it's coming down. It is coming down. What's up y'all? Welcome to another episode of Backyard Off Grid. My name We got our Jackery solar generator and we will be using it to power a mini fridge or a coffee pot or a tea kettle. Sorry for my messy hair but I need to take a shower and I'll be doing that in a couple minutes after this video. Here is the Jackery. It is the Explorer 1500. And you don't want to know how much it costs, but I will tell you later. I will leave a link in the description below so you can check out the price for it and you can check to see if you want to buy it. But let's get this thing unboxed. It is. like unwrapping the mega 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 iPhone 24 Pro X Max Plus which they don't have yet by the way yep this right here looks to be like our solar panel let's see if that is the solar panel and yes we are in the tiny home now we uh moved out of the RV we just basically use it to take showers and to use the bathroom mostly number two and here you have this nice case for which I think is the solar panel but as you can tell it's really hard to get it un done with one hand oh yes by the way we got tile down I don't know if you guys saw that before got diamond plate got the uh, Harbor Freight inverter hooked up to a marine battery so we're gonna do the test Jackery versus Harbor Freight marine battery type combo We've got a hundred watt uh, Thunderbolt solar panel that also came from Harbor Freight and we got five panels outside that are each 25 watt a piece and no this is not the solar panel this is the uh, accessory kit so there you guys have it that's the accessory kit and what do we got in this box hmm is that tile supposed to be there? Just so you guys know, you can get this on my website, backyard-offgrid.com. And for other merch, there's shirts, hoodies, and etc. Even a yoga mat that has the same logo. So check that out. And check that out. Here it is, the Jackery. Oh my god. It's so heavy. Not really. And there it is, and just to show you the scale of how big this thing is compared to a Brita water fridge pitcher, yes, that thing will fit in our mini fridge in the RV. So that's how big this thing is compared to that. This thing could literally fit inside the RV mini fridge. 
So let's see about getting this thing turned on. Here's the display, and yes, it is on. It comes with a, if you can't see that, because I know you can't, let me zoom in here. It comes in with a 44% charge, straight out the box. So you gotta get it hooked up and get it charged up. And yeah, I thought the solar panel would come with it, but apparently you have to buy that separate. So I'm gonna do what I can to use my Harbor Freight solar panels to charge this thing up and there you guys have it I'm gonna get this thing hooked up all right y'all this Harbor Freight Jupiter inverter is connected to a marine battery and the solar panels are connected to that so we get solar power to that and this uh, GFI right up here that I have in here I use that that goes straight to a gas generator so if I was to turn on the generator that GFI would be on right now. It's also a nightlight. So I can charge up the Jackery from there using generator power, or I can charge up the Jackery from there using solar. And as you can see, it's plugged in. Here's the display just to show you guys. It is actually feeding power into it using solar power. And that is if you want to try it, you know, go to Harbor Freight and get the solar panels. I'm pretty sure Jackery won't be too happy about me making this video and saying that. But, yeah, just so you know, this thing costs a little over $1,700. And I thought the solar panel would come with it. So having solar from Harbor Freight on this Jupiter, you see it's only using like one bar to charge this thing up. That saves us a lot of money because I don't really know how much the solar panels are, but I'll have the link in the description below in the video so you can check that out if you really want to get the solar panels. Because it does come with uh, the solar charger uh, adapter, which plugs into both of those. And I guess you just plug in two together and yeah, you can use those solar chargers from Jackery to power that, or you can do what I did and yeah, get a 3000 watt inverter and a marine battery and use the Harbor Freight solar panels to put charge into the marine battery, which is a deep cycle battery, of course, and you can charge it up that way and that's just more, you know, cost efficient for us. But this concludes the product review on this Jackery Explore 1500. I'm going to go take a shower now. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching. Here's my Jackery Explore 1500. What do I feel about this? Well, I like that there's a display there. I got it fully charged. I got a uh, Harbor Freight uh, inverter there that is hooked up to solar panels, and I use that to charge this thing up. You don't have to use the Jackery solar panels, and they run about $600 a piece for 200 watt panels. You can hook up these two. Uh, with the uh, adapters and you can run two off of each thing so that's four panels which gives you 800 watts and it should charge up within you know two and a half hours from what they say on the website one thing I don't like about it too much is it does weigh like 38 pounds it can be a little difficult for maybe like my mom to carry it around you all know my mom Becky so yeah, it'll be hard for her to kind of lug around, but I can lug it around. I can even charge it in my Jeep if I want to. If I want to top off the battery. I already plugged in my phone to charge it. 
And I like that there is a USB-C here. I've been wanting to do a review on that uh, heated mug that required me to have a USB-C adapter, which I didn't have the time, so I'll be able to do a review on that now with this. And another thing is it has its own individual on and off kind of switch button type push button thing. So if you have your plugins here, you got to push this in and to, you know, push it off, you do that. And there goes my light because my battery went out, my backup battery. But anyways, I can still do this review, even though it might be crappy. It's just a tiny review and I'll be doing more videos on this thing. And then you got these three outlets here that you can plug into like your computer or whatever. And yeah, you gotta freaking push this button in right there just to turn it on and then push it in to turn it off. And then same with the 12 volt cigarette lighter style, you know, car charger. It's got its own little button right there for DC power. But yeah, it overall it's quiet. I love that it's quiet. The only thing it does have a fan that comes on when I guess when it gets hot, it has a fan that comes on, but still the fan in itself is quiet enough. But yeah, for some people it can be a little, you know, frustrating. And then there's this light here on the side. No, a lot of people don't think this is bright enough, but when you're in the dark, it is bright enough and you should have a backup, you know, light anyways. And then it also has like an emergency signal type thing. Not many people really went over this from the videos that I've seen, but if you push it twice or hold it, yeah, push and hold it, it'll do a flashing thing, which is pretty cool. So that just kind of to alert people if you're out on the road saying you're using this jackery to air up your tire or something, you can kind of have this be like a warning flash to let people know that you're stopped on the side of the road, kind of, you know, airing up your tire, changing a tire, whatever the case may be. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. The price, though, it is pretty pricey for some people, but it is that initial investment. Like I told my friend, because I did tell him about this, uh, he wasn't too sold on it, but in the long term, it will save you some money. Like right now, I can go completely off grid, completely off the of shore power. Right now, I don't even have any water because they disconnected the water line. So I'm completely off grid. Back here, I have to haul in water back here. But yeah, because there's no water, I have to go to the store if I want to get, you know, filtered water or whatever to make my coffee or whatever. But yeah, I have used this to power the coffee pot that is right up there. Light makes a cool effect, so that's pretty cool. And it will power a uh, electric kettle. And yeah, the electric kettle takes about 1250 watts usually, uh, but the kettle is like rated at, you know, 1500, so I'm like, why is this a 1500 watt kettle, but it only takes 1250 like, so it'll show you the true, uh, wattage, you know, for the output right there, which is nice. So I can just like randomly plug in whatever I want and, you know, check devices. And because this thing is outdoor, I can take it outside and plug my extension cord into it with the plugs right here, whatever one I want to use. And I got my extension cord running to a Romex uh, cable that is wired up to a GFI so I can, you know, pretty much power this tiny studio. We're calling it the tiny studio. Um, it is a uh, tiny cabin that I got inspiration from Lake Tahoe going out there and, you know, seeing Sugar Bowl and all that stuff and Truckee and yeah, that's just kind of where this cabin build inspiration came from but because there's like hardly any walls there's like a pony wall which is right there and we decided to go with black so there's that i'm still gonna finish that up but yeah see it's not a complete wall it's like a pony wall for like a horse or whatever but we're not gonna have a horse in here so 
Yeah. It's nice to have off-grid power 